I think very soon we will see some pharmacological ways that are scientifically tested uh, that would help people live longer because there are several drugs that are already shown to work in mice, for example, but it's now a little too early to recommend them to humans safely. So that's in terms of you know, medicine. Uh, but overall lifestyle changes, I think there are some things that are pretty general. For example, eating less was shown to extend lifespan of many different organisms from flies to mice and uh, monkeys. Um, so it's very important, of course, maintaining healthy diet, but at the same time eating less. And what's even more interesting, there are studies where uh, animals were not just held on a reduced uh, you know, food, uh, but they were fed, let's say, every other day. So imagine like you skip lunch because you're working too hard and then you, know, you go hungry for a few hours. So this may be beneficial actually as as good as uh, reducing food intake altogether and maybe less painful because it's not that you're always hungry, you're just hungry, you know, for a day and then you can eat. Um, so this uh, regimen actually was applied to mice. They were fed every other day and they lived um, about 20% longer. It's quite remarkable. Uh, so this is one way, you know, occasionally if you skip your meal, or don't overeat. And then um, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, this is so important. Uh, we don't yet understand all those chemical combinations that are in fruits like uh, blueberries, for example, raspberries and other tasty things. <laughs> but uh, they actually were shown to extend lifespan of uh, worms, for example, or some s simple organisms. So that's another suggestion. Um, you know, physical activity is, of course, important to keep people healthier, although it doesn't per se extend lifespan, it just keeps us healthy longer. If you exercise, of course, not overdoing it, like professional athletes, they damage themselves too much, so that's not... But just the healthy level of exercise, of course, helps people stay healthy longer, prevent heart disease, prevent diabetes. Uh, but just by itself, it doesn't change how we age. It just, we, we start from a healthier start, but then, you know, you still decline. <laughs>